Oh my gosh. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. True Hunter here. In today's video we are on Logger's Point. Taking it back to the first map released in the Hunter Classic. And today we are going to be using the Parker Python compound bow along with the 300 Magnum as well. Our primary goal is to be going after mule deer and whitetail deer today, but we are pretty much open to any type of trophy we come across. And our starting point here is going to be pretty much in the middle right here. I usually start here and then I fast travel over to this center tower right here. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing is pretty much just going to like hunt this entire left side middle area for whitetail and mule deer and we might eventually head down this way south along the border if we don't see anything by the tower but anyways let's get on with the hunt i'll see you guys over at the tower and it looks like straight away we have a call from a bobcat literally right underneath this tower a lot of veterans, and me included, will say that this is the best tower on Logger's Point to hunt for anything. I've shot some pretty nice whitetail from this tower as well, as well as some non-typicals too. Let's see if we can find this bobcat, unless it ran away. I don't see the bobcat. Oh, there it is, right there hiding behind that little hill right there. It is a female, because we indicated that by the call. So, just go ahead and get the spot on that for the experience. And it does look like there is to be a lot of pheasants around here, too. There's a big group of pheasants right there. Let's just see what he's got a score estimate of. And 16 to 27, I believe I said it was. And it looks like we got some feral hogs here, too. That one there looks like he's got some pretty nice cutters on him. We got 630 to 820, so not giant. Looking for those, you know, quadruple digit numbers. Yeah, we're not going to worry about those guys, I don't think. We're going to get off a couple calls here. See if we can call in some bucks. estimate is 105 to 150 so he'll probably be like a 120 1 to 30 buck at most and it looks like we do have a bobcat here as well which is also spotted us unfortunately it's a female I wonder if I can take it out real quick before it spooks that whitetail off Hopefully it doesn't spook that white tail. Okay. The bobcat's down right there. And it looks like our white tail is chill. So we're gonna wait till he gets in bow range and sling an arrow at him. Oh, it looks like there's another white tail buck over there. Oh, nope, that is a doe. We got the white tails. We just don't have the big boys. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's a mule deer. Got to take out the small ones to get to the big ones. Let's see, which one's going to get to me first? Hopefully the white tail gets to me first. Because I really don't mind if the mill deer spooks. Just doing a quick glass, making sure there's nothing coming out of the wood line here. What is that? What is that? That is another whitetail. Okay, so we might have to... 
be careful with this here. I might have to do a long shot. That's 60 meters from here to that tree. I've already pre-ranged that tree out. Let's see, 60 meters. This could work if that whitetail stops right there and don't move. If he takes a couple more s steps and... Come on, go ahead and stop. Stop moving. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can take this guy here. Let's see, 40 meters. Okay, that is a heart shot. Okay. Now we just need to replicate that on this mule deer, because I really don't want that other whitetail to spook. But if it does, it does. Probably gonna have to go for a lethal neck shot on this guy. Actually, I might go for a head shot on him since he's facing me directly. Come on. Come on, go ahead and stop. Stop moving. Stop moving. Probably the most, not most ethical shot I could have made on that guy, but under the circumstances of not wanting this one to spook, definitely had to take that shot. I'm just curious of how far this one is here. Probably at least 65, 70, probably 70 out. So that's like right there. I could probably drop him from right there if my arrow goes straight and doesn't like curve like at all. Um, you know what? We're going to go for it. We're going to go for the 70 yard shot. What is that? 70 right on the money? Oh, he's starting to move. Okay. I'm glad he started to move because I'm about to release the arrow. So, if we're lucky, he should stop about 60. About halfway to that rock. So, that'll be a decent shot. And then we won't have to worry about this doe spooking it. Oh, yep, he stopped right there at the rock. Okay, he's at 50 meters. And that was a really good shot. Alrighty. Cool, cool. I'm going to try to drop this female, too. Just, just so she doesn't spook everything off. Runs. Oh, we got another one coming. Bunch of females. Have you stopped yet? She's gonna stop like at that set of rocks right there. Come on. Yep, I knew it. So this one here is gonna be kind of tricky. We're gonna have to go for a neck shot. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. That's what I was afraid of. That's okay though. Not too worried about it. Right, we're gonna go ahead and go grab these guys real quick, starting with the mule deer. None of these guys are too impressive here. 109. I'd say this one here is gonna be our, probably our biggest one. If he has any deductions, yeah, yeah it looks like he's got one deduction. 107. Okay, so this one actually may score higher. This one over here may actually do it. I also gotta run over there and grab that bobcat, too. I'm surprised that bobcat ran that far, to be honest. Yeah, this guy's gonna be our, our highest scoring one, probably. 113. Not by much, but he definitely, he definitely beat the other one. Okay, we're gonna grab this bobcat and then we're gonna hop back up in the tower. Six. That's actually pretty decent for a female bobcat though. And there is a feral pig over there. Just to see if it's a male. It doesn't look like it is. Nope, it's a female. 
Okay, we're gonna hop back up in the tower here and see if we can see anything else. All right, guys, I've been literally sitting here for like five to ten minutes after those deer I just shot, and I'm just sitting here. I was kind of like going through my phone and stuff, and I heard a call of a whitetail behind me, and I turn around and I just see this. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We're gonna call him over here immediately. Like, oh my gosh, that's gonna be the biggest non-typical I think I've ever shot so far. Like, I am, I'm literally starting to shake like right now. Like, it's, it's unreal. Like, this tower is just so good. This, the center, the center tower is just the best on Logger's Point. Like, hands down, you cannot beat this tower. There's just so many animals here, and there's another buck right there. Like I'm not even I'm not even concerned about anything else because that is an absolute monster whitetail. I did pick up the recurve bow while I was waiting, too. So I'm I'm contemplating whether I should take it with the recurve or I should just shoot it with the 300 magnum. But I'd really like to get him with a recurve. Oh my gosh, where did he go? Did he go on a render distance? Oh, I think he went on a render distance. We may have to track him. That shouldn't be on a render distance. Yeah, that's... That's well... Oh my gosh, that's well within... The distance here. may just have to give him a t time to register the call and turn around here. Oh my gosh. My heart is like pounding out of my chest right now. This is about as good as it gets, guys, right here. When I was doing when I started this hunt, I was not it was not guessing this was going to happen, but Oh my gosh, 240 to 310. What an absolute monster. And I love his his brow tines too. He's got like two splits, two or three split brow tines. Like, oh my gosh, he looks so cool. That's probably my favorite one right there. That's, oh my Lord. Okay, this is gonna be weird here. See, I can't see because of the tree because he's basically a tree himself so oh my gosh oh my gosh cannot believe this is happening right now this is this is such an incredible moment right here Especially if there's a slight chance, there's a slight chance that he's going to be 300 plus. Like that is just going to, oh and he just called I think too. Yeah he did. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this happened. Like I don't know whether I'm like, I'm nervous, excited, like both scared, like I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to mess this up and have to track him forever. All right, we're just going to keep it calm here. Just going to keep it calm. Okay. Come on over, buddy. Come on over, buddy. Actually, to be honest, I think this will be my first recurve harvest too because it was the uh, the longbow that I was using for the longest time not the recurve so yeah this is the action I'm pretty sure this is actually going to be the first recurve harvest
Come on. Come on over the hill, bud. Come on. Like, for the slightest chance he spooks and runs, like, I'm not going to hesitate to pull into 300 and take a shot at him. Where's he at? He didn't... I know he... Oh, there he is. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, my God, he's so big. Look at the size of that non-typical. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I don't think he's going to break 300, though. I think he'll be, like, at most 280. At most 280. I don't think he's going to break 300, unfortunately. Okay, we're going to get ready. Pretty bad angle. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh my god, there's another buck too. Can we triple down on this? Can we get three bucks in one screenshot? Oh my gosh, dude. This is gonna be awesome. I cannot believe there's this many bucks here. I've, I don't think I've ever seen this many bucks here at this one tower. Let alone a 300 potential. Not yeah. typical. Oh my gosh. Heart is beating out of my chest right now. Oh my gosh. If I could drop him next to this one, that's going to be fantastic. Come on, come on, come on. Stop right there. <gasps> yes! Yes! This is so good. This is so good. Oh my gosh, and there's still deer coming too. Like Is that a pipe ball? No. Surely not. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Okay. I don't even care if those deer spook. Okay. <laughs> I can't I don't even care. Okay, I want to get down. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this. Look at this madness right here, guys. Look look at this buck of madness from one tower. One tower. Oh, my gosh. Let's see what this monster scores. 278. I was almost right on the 280 part. Oh, my gosh. This is fantastic. 280. 78. We're going to definitely take a trophy shot with him. First recurve harvest, too. What an amazing harvest. Holy cow. Okay, we're going to definitely do this pose right here. Well, what an awesome hunt that was, guys. That was awesome. But yeah, one more, one more rundown where I was on the map. So I start here in the center, and then I'll fast travel over to the center tower. And like I said, this area right here is just white tail haven, as you can see. Is it just it produces so well on this map. But I would recommend fast traveling here because it spawns the animals in a little bit faster. But anyways guys. Appreciate y'all coming in for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to dislike it if you didn't like it or didn't learn anything. And I hope you all have an amazing day.